And welcome back, ladies, to another episode of Todd Teaches DDO. Last time, we picked up a few rares in the Cerulean Hills and finished the quest, um, The Captives. Didn't take very long, about 10 minutes. Um, we made our way back across the wilderness area from here all the way here to the Braza Farmstead, where the second quest is. So we've already talked to Nash, and we're going to go ahead and go into where's where there's smoke. So let's head in. Alright, so in this quest, raise your hireling if you don't already have it out, and then you want to make sure that you're careful. Um, if you're not doing this with other people, um, you're going to want to be very careful, especially coming back, because you have to rescue some of Nash's dogs from the orcs you get bonus XP for doing that typically I wait until the end of the quest to do that some people like to do it as they go but if you do it that way you have to keep going forward and running back to the entrance so I like to just save it until the end when you first come up you'll get a couple guys attacking you one guy from cover this guy running down here You'll see a couple more, so you'll want to go up. This is where you'll encounter a um, bunch of orcs and the first dog. So kill all the orcs, and then you get to the dog. So if you have a high diplomacy, intimidate, or bluff, you can talk to them that way and get them to follow you. Or, if you have a smoke-cured ham, you can feed that to the dog. Now, I'm going to leave the dog alone, because like I said, I wait till the end to do this, so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Um, plus, as you go, you'll pick up the smoke-cured hams that you can feed them, in case you don't have any skills in one of those um, social skills. Now, instead of following the trail, come up around here. There's a couple orcs. They'll come back and ambush you later if you don't kill them now. We'll kill them and then come up back behind here to ambush the orcs that were going to ambush us. There's the first shrine very close to the entrance. I don't know why. Probably because people do what I do and get stuff on the way back. A bunch of breakables, get those. And then this chest here is where you'll find your first smoke cured ham. Loot. Okay. Now we'll go this way, get this guy who's waiting to ambush us. Not very observant though. You'll have some guys here behind a barricade. Go ahead and break the barricade. If you break the barricade that they're standing on, they kind of fall and are stunned for a second. Kill all these guys that run out at you. So these guys, if you notice, ran out of this screen of cover, so we're going to go in there to clear things out. But I'm going to come back and make sure I break everything here, because these do count as breakables. So they came from this area back here, which if you run through it, turns out to be another place where you can get some kills. And there's a red name guy here. There's a couple red name guys that are kind of randomly run around here. There's also the second dog. The other chest and the second ham will be in the other chest. Um, if you're wondering why I wait to do the dog till the end, because if you have the dogs follow you, they will attack things and can possibly get killed and then you don't get the optionals. But if you wait till the end, you can kind of just get them all and just run back to the entrance that way. So I like to do that in order. Now you'll get some people firing at you from this bridge. You can ignore them or if you have range, take them out. I don't have range so I'm going to ignore them for now. I'm going to run past them up the hill over here where I'll kill some more orc friends. Hello orc friends. Here is your third smoked ham. More
more orc friends. Now you can see there's a way to get up to that bridge so if you weren't able to kill them before you can actually run up and around and kill them. Plenty of orcs to fight you here. There's also the third encampment with the third dog over there. We'll go up there in a second. Let's kill the orcs from the bridge. Our hireling's already making a go at it. Okay. Now we can go up to the other encampment. And kill all these guys here. And kill the cleric first. No sense in letting someone who can heal everyone you're trying to kill. Alright, breakables, and then there's that third dog, like I said. Um, we'll come back and talk to him after we finish the other part. It's another ranger. Alright, so now you have two options at this point. You can go up the riverbed there, and there'll be a bunch of wolves to kill. Um, doesn't matter which. Why can't I hit that guy? It doesn't matter if you do that now. I typically go up one way and then come back the other. So, like I said, doesn't matter which way you go. We have more wolves over there. I can spot them, but. That's okay, I'll get them later. I'm going to go up the road though. And I'll go after the couple orcs that are up here. So I believe there's one guy waiting to ambush you. Well, there's two guys waiting to ambush you here. Some sort of caster over here? Yeah, cleric. Okay. So I'll kill those guys, come up the road. If you went up the riverbed, there's some rocks and stuff that you can climb up over there. And then when you get up here, there's a group of orcs and some mercenaries to kill. No casters though, so just kill the group. However you best do that. Okay. So now you get to the farm. Even though we're trying to save it from being burned down, we can't get into it without breaking his gates. So we break the gates and run in. Smoke rises in the distance. You need to act quickly to save Nash's house from the flames. Alright, to save his house from the flames, you need to come up here. Break through this other door. And you need to open up the valve. Now when I open up this valve, typically I run very quickly back behind the house because a lot of orcs appear out in front of the house. So I run back behind here. There's a couple guys back here that were waiting in an ambush, but only a few. And then you can deal with the big group more on your own terms. So a couple of them will start to come back to you. So this limits them being able to surround you and things like that. So just get a couple at a time, that sort of idea. Use smart tactics whenever you can. The red name guy is up there. So like I said, I'm going to lure them back slowly, a few at a time. Of course, my hireling might go get their attention. Since she did, I'll have to run in. Get the cleric first. Otherwise, he'll heal the red name as you're fighting, and that's really annoying. Do everything you can to kill him. How are we on kills? Ooh. I'm going to kill some other things before I kill him. I'm trying to get a bonus for the kills. See if I can't do that before I have to kill the red name. Any more guys? Now I'll tell you on the higher difficulties, this is actually quite a challenging battle because the AI is a little smarter, a little stronger. Got to be a little bit more careful. But obviously on this difficulty setting it's not terrible once you kill him that's technically the end of the main quest and you get the chest here but 
even if you finish the main quest, you can still get those optionals, which is why, again, I wait till the end to do those. Now I will run back to do the optionals. This time I'll drop down to the riverbed and kill the wolves that are down here. I suppose if you were really going for those bonuses, you'd actually want to clear those out before you came up to try and get that. There they are. I don't know how I went past them. Okay, wolves. Half a dozen wolves. Okay. Now we'll go back up to the dogs and we'll just kind of backtrack to the beginning of the quest. On some of these places, things respawn um, when you go back for the dogs. That's okay. Not a big deal. I'm going to just feed the smoke cured ham, pet the dog gently, untie his leash. So now he'll follow you and also fight for you. So you got to be careful not to get him killed, otherwise, you can't get that optional. So there's a orc that spawned. Let's kill him. Try not to let him kill the doggy. Go over this way back towards that second dog behind the screen there. He's still following us. Gotta be careful, the AI, like I said, is not the greatest and so sometimes it'll get like stuck behind something. That's no good. Where's this dog? Oh, there he is. Feed him a smoke cured ham. Now we got two of the three dogs. We'll go back to the entrance now to get the last one. So this is typically where a couple guys respawn up here at this first one because they try to ambush you again. I don't see them though. Maybe they'll wait till I talk to the dog. Yep, they do. Hey, leave my doggies alone. Are you still fighting something, dog? Okay. Now that we've got all three of those, we got that XP, and once we turn them all in here, we'll get some more XP. So don't click on anything yet. Just wait until they all get there. Sweet, I got us another rank. So now we'll click to exit the level. A dusty caravan blocks the road to the west. Turn it into Nash. You took care of them, orcs. Well, that's good news. Here, take this. Make up for the trouble. So take whatever you want. I'm gonna take the heroic deeds. We need nine kills. Let's get those nine kills on our way out. This feels like a nice way to end our Cerulean Hills adventure. We'll kill a couple orcs as we leave. Some orcs and a wolf, apparently. Come on. Another wolf. A bugbear. Another orc. Another orc. And one more. Come on. One more. I guess we will have to drop down this guy and kill him. And that's our 200 kills. Almost a thousand XP for that. Not bad. Oh, it's the farmers fighting. Whatever, they can fight. 
All right, so leave the Cerulean Hills and turn in the Captive's Quest also. Talking to Pearl. You freed Lady Asdell. Thank you, thank you. Here, take the baubles. All right, again, take whatever you want. I'm going to take the Valor. All right. So, now we've completed... Except for, of course, you know, the rares and getting all the Slayers. We've completed the Cerulean Hills quests um, when exploring there. Not too bad. Um, on the next episode, we'll go ahead and look at what other level 3 quests we have. And we will do one of those ones. Um, like I said, a lot of the level 3 quests, um, they are part of quest chains. So we'll try to do all the ones that are just kind of standalone quests first, and then we'll go start the chains um, that a lot of those quests start. Let's go ahead and sell things that we've come across, though. Uh, sell gems, potion templates, gold grease, sell, repair. Okay, not too bad. Alright, so make sure to join us next time. We'll pick up the next level 3 quest and we will do that one. Um, and until then, like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you like about the series, about the channel. We'll try to do more of what you like, less of what you don't like. And until next time, play games, have fun, and we'll see ya.